Good evening. For the first time in about four years, several regional unemployment offices in Kentucky reopened for in-person appointments. This comes as thousands have reported issues with getting in touch with someone to help them with their claims. But as Chad Hedrick shows us, new details from a recent report allege that some who were tasked with handling unemployment claims early on in the pandemic were actually processing their own fraudulent claims. He breaks it all down first on Fox. For a year, we've told you stories about Kentuckians who lost their jobs during the pandemic and the battle to get unemployment benefits. I need this money. I got bills that I had to pay for. When I call in, there's a, um, a message that I would be put in the queue. Thursday marked a turning of the tide as in-person appointments at regional offices across the state resume, and many were able to get help they have longed for. They told me I should get paid this weekend. But just as many Kentuckians were getting assistance, a report surfaced with scathing details alleging fraud from within the unemployment office. The Herald leader citing a report from the inspector general claiming at least 19 state workers at the Kentucky Education and Workforce Development Council Cabinet, collected more than $54,000 in state and federal unemployment benefits in April and May of last year, when many were working at the Office of Unemployment Insurance or the Unemployment Insurance Commission. From a state government side or from a human being side, unacceptable. And that's why we wanted the independent report. Uh, that's why we, we wanted to make sure that we took action. Back in February, State Auditor Mike Harmon addressed the situation when he released his audit on the system where he highlighted a specific issue with the auto pay system used early on in the pandemic. He said auditors selected a sample of 37 state employees who filed for and received UI benefits and found 16 of them were paid benefits for the loss of part-time jobs despite still being employed by the state. Those state wages would have made them ineligible for benefits. Meanwhile, those who are eligible are claiming victory now after a long battle with the antiquated system. It helps out a whole lot. Get to talk to somebody face to face. In the coming weeks, thousands more Kentuckians will get answers and hopefully some resolve on their actual claims as the state works to address security and fraud that's plagued the system during the pandemic. In Frankfurt, Chad Hedrick for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. We asked the governor if any of these employees could face charges for the allegations. He says that's up to a prosecutor who takes on the case. He added there have been some inquiries, but he would not speculate on what charges those could be.